Just about everyone in the world has a silly superstition they believe in. It could be something such as knocking on wood, avoiding black cats, or not walking under ladders. However, there are times where superstitions aren't silly and are shared on a countrywide level. While bizarre to those who view them from the outside, for those who believe and partake in them, it's part of everyday life. So I'm sure you can figure out what we're going to list off today. And the title kind of spoils you on what's going to happen. I'm Niamh Ash, and this is Unexplained Possibilities, Five Odd Superstitions from Around the World. Now let us begin. In Russia, it's believed that putting empty bottles on the ground is good luck. The superstition comes from a legend that started when Cossack soldiers pushed Napoleon back to France in 1814. The soldiers noticed that Parisian restaurants charged customers per empty bottle left on the table, rather than per bottle ordered. And so the soldiers took advantage of this and hid empty bottles under the table. When the soldiers returned to Russia, they shared their story of hiding the bottles and soon after it spread and was considered good luck to place them on the ground. One has to wonder though, does the amount of luck increase by the amount of empty bottles on the ground? If so, then it sounds like a good excuse to go and get some drinks. Phallic paintings go back hundreds, if not thousands of years. Some believe these images represent masculinity and power. In Bhutan, the people hold the belief that phalluses, which can actually be viewed on the walls of homes, stores, and license plates of trucks, will protect you from evil and drive it away. It's said that the phallus image itself becomes a type of deity of protection. Wooden phalluses are hung on the doorknobs of new homes and are also put in fields like a scarecrow when crops start to sprout. Those who go to a monastery hoping to have kids are even blessed by a wooden phallus. So go ahead and paint a giant penis on the wall of your home or door and watch in awe as the image becomes a deity of protection. Now only one question remains. Is this penis deity of protection a shower or a grower? Have you ever decided to go out and meet a friend at the pub only to find out that they're late? Of course you can't help but wonder why they're not on time. Perhaps it was traffic, they forgot, or they got possessed by a demon. While nothing can be done about the traffic or your friend's forgetfulness, there is a way to check to see if your friend is a demon. That is, if they arrive to the pub. In Germany, pub tables were made out of oak wood. Oak is considered holy and demons weren't able to touch it. So when meeting friends at the pub, it was customary to knock on the table to show you are not a demon and to greet them. The knocking on the table is still performed today, but perhaps not as much as it was in the past. So if your friend is late and they don't knock on the table, you will know for certain a demon has taken over their body. Just sit on the opposite side of the table from them and be sure to make them pay for the food and drink. In China, ghost marriages are a thing, and it's a thing for a couple of reasons. Death of either the bride or groom is one reason for a ghost marriage. If the fiancé dies, the bride could go through the wedding with a rooster in the groom's place. Many brides are hesitant to do this because it would mean they would have to take a vow of celibacy, participate in funeral rites, mourning, and live with the groom's family. Rich families with a dead son could try and buy a living girl to marry him and adopt an heir so that their family line is continued. A living groom could also marry his dead fiance, though there haven't been any records of the practice. It's considered bad luck for either bride or groom to die before they're married, and if one were to move on, the family will be cursed and the fiance who passed away would not be at peace. This is also to maintain that the family line will continue. It's also said that the spirit of an older brother would be disgruntled if his younger brother married before him. Because of this, ghost weddings take place before a younger brother weds, though the older brother's spirit will remain at peace. Interestingly enough, it's said that the ghosts from the afterlife request a marriage as they find themselves without a spouse. There are also matchmakers who arrange ghost marriages for deceased members of families. So if you're someone who struggles finding love in the physical world, go to a ghost matchmaker and have them set you up with someone who is on the other side. 
In remote locations in India, there are people who believe that after being bitten by a dog in heat, they would become pregnant with a puppy. Men who have to give birth to the puppy through their penis are said to die. It is believed that those bitten and consequently impregnated by the dogs are said to bark like them. Some even reported being able to see puppies inside them when they look into water or hear them growling in their stomach. Most of them fear for their lives and consult witch doctors who say their cures would dissolve the puppies and they would pass through their digestive system without their knowledge. The witch doctors warn that other cures won't work if they seek medical doctors. So be careful if bitten by a dog in heat. You just might give birth to a little puppy. And if you're a male, well, the birth will kill you. So good luck with that. And that concludes Unexplained Possibilities, five odd superstitions from around the world. If you know of any superstitions or would like to add to anything that was said, feel free to do so in the comment section. We love reading your thoughts and hearing what you have to say. Also, don't forget to subscribe to Unexplained Possibilities if you haven't done so, and be sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Reddit, and Instagram. Those links can be found in the description below. Thank you all for watching, and we will be seeing you next time.